In Fair Croyd, where we lay our scene, a pair of star-crossed lovers embark upon a romantic journey. The first of the star-crossed lovers, Shane, an egotistical jerk, longs for nothing more than to have our fair maiden, Brodie's hand in marriage. As Brodie alights from the carriage, she caught Shane's eye from afar, was confronted by Shane's intimidating arrogance. This was him showing off his muscles, clapping his hands, and swinging his arms across his body as if he was getting ready to run somewhere. And this is where our love story begins. The following day, Shane appeared at Croy Bay under the pretense of running an errand for the coast steering. The lack of reciprocation from his loving gazes did little to dissuade him from his quest. His attempts to woo Brodie continued with his heroic actions, hauling damsels from the treacherous waters, hoping her gaze was on him. However, her thoughts were elsewhere. Hours passed and Shane's infatuation with Brodie continued. In a desperate attempt to show off his brutish masculinity, Shane began lifting his brand new weights, but to no avail. Next, he began subtly hinting his sporting abilities. Total wipeout course, two minutes 50. Bournemouth Football Club, if it weren't for my injury, I'd be a pro. He said with a slight air of arrogance mixed with pride in his voice. Each sentence was punctuated with his signature hand clap. Brodie seemed disinterested despite Shane's gloating. Had a year one class once, made one kid cry. Now every time I walk into a room, everyone goes silent, Shane gloated. Brodie just went back to looking at her phone, much to Shane's disappointment. Another day passed with Shane trying to win Brodie's affection. He arrived at the beach with orders to capture images of those surfing. However, the only thing captured was his heart. But revelations of Brodie's existing flame reached Shane's ears that night. He was heartbroken. In one last attempt to woo our fair maiden, Shane made a resolution to change his ways. How can I be an egotistical jerk? I'm perfect. I don't understand. I know I'm too good for her, but she's always on my mind. I have to change my ways. Maybe Brodie prefers a gentle guy. Shane thought to himself, letting thoughts of Brodie sat on the beach earlier that day fill his head. What do I have to do to be a nicer guy? Shane asked Brodie the next morning. Brodie gained Shane the cold shoulder. Her blank look, eye roll, and walk made Shane retreat to his room in a depressed state. On the way to his room, a reflective surface caught his eyes. As Shane edged closer, he pondered, who is this handsome gentleman? The realization dawned upon Shane. It was himself, and that was all he needed to be happy. <laughs>